Hey boys and girls, it's Mr. Murphy, and today we're going to be able to solve real world problems by combining different coin values. Now this is a super duper important skill. We use this all the time when we're at the store, when we're seeing how much money we saved, how much money we spent. So pay close attention. Let's start with values. Remember a penny is worth one cent, a nickel is worth five cents, a dime is worth 10 cents, and a quarter is worth 25 cents. So let's look at our first problem. Read along with me, guys. John has three nickels and Beth has two dimes. How much money do they have all together? Now, before I start actually adding, I want to take a look at, are there any signal words that let me know what I should be doing? All together. All together is a signal word that lets me know I'm combining John's nickels with Beth's dimes, or in other words, I'm adding them together. So let's see what that would look like. If John has three nickels at five cents each, I have five, 10, 15, and when I add those to Beth's two dimes, I have 25, 35. All together, John and Beth have 35 cents. Let's look at another problem. This is getting easy. All right, read along with me. Xavier buys a ball for three dimes and Levi buys a pack of gum for four pennies. How much did they spend in all? Again, before I start, are there any signal words that let me know what I should be doing? You guessed it, in all. In all lets me know that I am combining Xavier's dimes with Levi's pennies. Let's see what that looks like when we add those together. Xavier had four dimes. At 10 cents a piece, I have 10, 20, 30, and 40. Now if I add those to Levi's four pennies, I have 41 cents, 42 cents, 43 cents, and 44 cents. Xavier and Levi all together spent 44 cents. One more problem. This one, a little bit trickier. Read along with me. Sarah has saved three quarters. Juan has saved two nickels. And Sam has saved four dimes. How much did they save combined? Now I have three different coins here. This is getting tough. Are there any signal words that can help me? Yeah, there is. Combined. That lets me know that I am adding all of these coins together. What does that look like? Take a look. If Sarah has three quarters at 25 cents each, I have 25, 50, and 75 cents. If I add that to Juan's two nickels, I have 80 cents, 85 cents, and if I add that to Sam's four dimes, I have 95 cents, 105 cents, 115 cents, 125 cents. That's a lot of money. We could also say that by $1.25. Altogether, they have a total of 125 cents. Okay guys, today we took a look at how to solve real world problems by combining different coin values and paying close attention to signal words. Go out there and give it a try. It might take some practice, but I know you can do it.